what is up everybody um some people have been requesting like a vloggy style um video i'm actually just packing up to uh head to a coffee shop probably um today is sunday i'm not training today so people want to like a day in the life style of shit um, this may never go out, but we're going to record it anyway. Going to wake up. Sundays are my busy client days. Um, sometimes I work in my office here. Sometimes I like to go to coffee shops. It just really depends. I'll probably go to Gabby Coffee um, here in Vegas. It's one of the best coffee shops around. To be honest, I was never a fan of coffee. Um, I hardly even drink it now. I just like the environment of being around other people who are also kind of in their zone working on stuff. Productivity inspires me. Um, so I like to go be around it. Uh, that was actually one of the cool parts of living with uh, Dr. Mike and Dr. Crystal, as you guys would know them as, but I know them as fuckface and other fuckface. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding, I love them to death. Uh, so, but they were just uh, absolutely ridiculously productive all the time. Um, so I'm gonna go feed off that kind of energy over at a coffee shop. So I actually just uh, took all my supplements, blah, blah, all that good shit. I'm about to have me some brown sugar boba, barber brigade, whey protein. This is just a shake to uh, get me through my work. It's gonna be a 50 gram shake, easy peasy. So sip on this throughout my time sitting at Gabby. Maybe I'll get some little good food there. They have crazy so like, uh, food options, pretty healthy shit too. So I'm gonna drink this while I work and I'll probably be working for about three to four hours. Uh, come back, maybe we'll get some steps. Um, eat again, of course, and that'll be like most of the day. So hopefully I can take you guys through that and talk a little bit about why, how I structure things, uh, how it helps, how I can be more productive, um, my like task to do list and what that looks like on a daily basis for productivity. Um, TLDR, it's all grounded in like fundamental science to help people be a little more productive. So I'm gonna go get some, I'm gonna go get, have a nice little drive to the coffee shop, get some sun, wake up a little bit and sip on this protein shake. Since I just woke up and it's time to get amino acids into the system. I just got home. Um, actually unpackaged a little bit of, let's see, I have this now and I have some mics. So I might try those for the next couple of videos and see how that goes. But basically, I'm going to now eat. Let's see how this works. I did about uh, four hours of work at the coffee shop. Now I'm gonna get in here and get me to that fix that. Shit just makes it so easy. Um, so I'm going massing. Half this pack I ate yesterday. Four servings at 28 carbs a piece. So there's the other half. My first 50. Cod. You guys are gonna notice this is just kind of how I do stuff. Uh, eyeball most things. This is cod. Putting in about five to six ounces. Um, I need about a 100 grams of carbs, which would be two half packs or one full pack, as I did the other half. Um, there we go. And then serving of veggies. So, so far today I've had 50 grams of protein from the whey shake, which was mostly like me waking up and being fasted 
Uh, now I have about 100 to 110 gram carb, about six ounces of protein, which is about 36 grams of protein. Um, so I just counted as 40. We got some in the, in the rice and the, if you want to do macros. Um, and then a serving of veggies. And that's literally how I do all my meals. That's how I meal per that's how I do my contest prep. That's how I do my massing periods. Um, for me, it works easily. I know approximate counts. And I have all most stuff. And that gives me a range of calories per day. So I might be off, let's say, I'm off 10 grams of protein, I'm off 20 grams of carbs, and I'm off like a few grams of fat toward the end of the day. And that difference is like 300 calories. So if I'm dieting for a contest and I'm off by 300 calories one day, and then the next day I'm off by 200, the next day I'm under by a couple hundred, yada, yada. The average of the week is generally pretty similar. So I would say, even though I'm eyeballing most shit, um, I stick to the similar foods just because it's I'm bland usually. Until I get to the end, I'll start making shit like French toast and uh, with egg whites and, and uh, low fat, low calorie bread. And then I'll do the same thing, eyeball, uh, track, know what I need in the meal, take it meal by meal. Um, if a 200 calorie difference on average, if you look at the weeks across the board, is enough to make it to where you're not in shape for a show, you got bigger problems. Um, so, yeah, that's how I kind of do shit. So I'm gonna do that meal, um, and then I'll have three more like that today. I might record them, I might not. This is my intense, my work intensive day, so the fact that I'm even doing this video uh, on top of what I normally do, I'm kind of like, eh, why not give it a shot? So I'm gonna try those lavaliers in the next uh, couple quote unquote scenes. Um, yeah, y'all let me know what you wanna see besides this and my day in the life stuff. I could have recorded some shit um, in my car. If I leave again, I'll show you guys the new car and stuff like that and talk about it maybe. But for now, make this meal. Um, probably work a little more at home, just in my office. Um, eat again in a couple hours. Outside of that, I don't do too much on my Sundays. My work intensive days are usually work and I love it. Um, so if there's anything else I can put in here that I think of, I'll sneak it in. If not, you'll just see how boring my Sundays are generally. So. Thanks for sticking with it, and I'll see you soon. All right, no idea if y'all can see me. Phone. Here's those lavaliers I was talking about. Um, got my meal. I'm gonna sit and work. As you can see, I got a little webcam, a little microphone, all that good stuff. Um, I have a four monitor setup here. Pretty nice. I really enjoy it. Got right, Team Four on, pull up on one, emails on another. Over here, I can do some more stuff. <clears throat> but, like I said, bought these mics. Kind of interested in seeing how they look and if they work. So, I'm going to put them to the test. After I eat and get some more work done, but it is the these they looked good, great reviews online. So we're gonna see how they fare. But with that being said, let me get some work done first.
just finished my work again. Um, going to eat. Like I said, today's a boring day. Uh, no need to show you guys the repeat meal, but uh, about to eat the same thing I did last meal. Um, same. Same macro profile. It's an off day, so my total macros for the day on this mass, I'm weighing about 249, 250 in the morning. My off day nutrition is about 475 to 500 grams of carbs, um, 250 grams of protein, and about 50 to 70 grams of fat. So, I'm repeating that last meal about two or three more times. And um, that's really it. But for the rest of the day, I just have, uh, I'll, I'll probably go get some steps. So maybe I'll take you guys along for that. Um, step count is roughly 8K per day. Again, massing. Um, and everything else is going smoothly. Yeah, so I'm going to eat. Next, I'll, the headphones are charging, or the uh, lavaliers uh, microphones are charging. So <clears throat> I'm going to use those in a bit whenever they're done. But as far as this <laughs> little bullshit goes, one, this is why I like doing day in the lives for me. I just, you know, they're silly. Um, this is really my day every day. Um, outside of that, if it's a, a training day, then it's more like wake up, enter shake, train, come back, do the work instead of working first thing. Um, go back to my PM session if I have a PM session come back, eat, work some more. Um, there are random things I'll do periodically here and there. So maybe if I have a more exciting day at some point, I can, uh, you know, record a little bit of that. But this is what I do, guys. This is what I do, guys. This is what I do. And it's gonna be the most boring day in the life video of all time. <laughs> but hopefully you guys <laughs> don't mind listening to me ramble about stupid shit. So, uh, I'll get those loves, lavaliers uh, charged and test them out. 10.45 at night, I took another crack at work and now I'm just kind of testing out this microphone. So this will be the first test. Hopefully this video works. But um, finally got around to this today. If it works, you'll be seeing a lot more vloggy style content because this is all I was really missing. So. I'll be carrying these around with me. Um, finish off the day with those two extra meals I said. Um, both had about 100 grams carbs in them. From there, uh, I'm going to have my last shake of the day. That'll cap me off for my protein. And it'll cap me off for my fats. I'm going to have a sleep stack that I take. Um, let's see... I'm going to basically have my most of my supplements tonight. There's a few I take in the morning time, so you guys have seen some of those. But I am going to take my fish oil as well because I only save my fat servings for the end of the day. I don't really have fat servings around my training. And if I train twice, today was an off day, but I just keep it consistent with my supplementation. So. Usually I train in the morning, so I won't have the fish oil supplementation or my fats. So I'm going to have my my protein shake, my fats, the fish oil. Um, other than that, I'll have the melatonin, uh, all those things. So, yeah, hopefully this is uh, working because I didn't really test. So that's that, guys. All right, so I'm heading to the gym now uh, for the PM session. Let's see how it goes. Uh, I have legs today. Um, 
Like I said, I've been training hard for a couple weeks now. So I'm around week two, three-ish volumes. Uh, you'll see how that looks. Just driving the car since I got it back, finally. Um, yeah, let's uh, get to it. See what's on the docket. I believe straight legs, leg press, a couple other things. And uh, see you in the gym. Let's try to make some progress. Oh boy. Oh. That didn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> that looked good. It looked good to me. last week I believe the app will tell me um, but I'm gonna go up to uh, 365 or uh, yeah probably 365 so the app actually has me uh, go up and rest sometimes on straight leg deadlifts so I like to keep my straight leg deadlifts around seven reps and then I just uh, program a different weight so that it goes down to seven reps so I might have me doing nine reps on my first set, eight on my next, but I'm gonna go ahead and put 365 on for working sets most likely. So we'll see how that looks. Pedal, 315 want. let's see how this feels. fucking camera died. I'm hoping that I'm not a lazy piece of shit and I actually take this off of my iPhone so you guys can get more footage. I'm gonna leg press now. I'm only gonna record one set. Hopefully I got the full set of my Shaley Jellers, but that's what I'm gonna do. So you're gonna see one set after this. Let's put these fucking shoes on. See, hopefully I got that straight leg deadlift set, but if not, you'll just see my, uh, my leg press but I got seven six three sixty five last week was three forty five seven six so uh definitely beat it by a lot um I'll probably stick at three sixty five go up in sets or go up seven seven and uh depends we'll see how sore I get so depending on the biofeedback of the soreness it'll keep me at two sets or I'll go up a set um, all depends on my handy dandy app, right? I'm gonna warm up here. This is my lighter quad session. You guys saw on, oh, you didn't see actually, <laughs> but on my social media, on my Instagram, I'm doing, um, God damn, this shit hurts. Instagram, I'm doing a, like this hack press that was similar to the Elena's hack squat over a torture and a uh, squat pattern. Today is mostly hamstrings with the leg press pattern. Um, so it'll be lighter. I'm gonna put the and then we'll fucking just see if I do two or three sets today.
schön. Oftentimes, the leg press isn't built for you to keep your butt down while you're doing the movements. Uh, or people just shape differently and they can't get into that really deep knee flexion position without their ass coming up to, uh, far beyond what I would consider uh, the neutral range. So something like this, this is a, this is a normal glute builder pad, but it's a multi-purpose pad. You could also use something like a cheap regular yoga mat or yoga pad. Put it here, right where the two pads meet, so the back support and the ass pad. Put it there, put your lordotic spine, so the lower back, put it right where they meet. It'll push your hips forward on this pad toward the sled, allow you to open your hips if you put your feet out, point your toes out, open your hips more while keeping your ass down. So it's completely safe to go super deep in this movement, especially if you're not risking going too far beyond neutral. Um, these pads help with that. It's a great modification. Um, some leg presses now even have that kind of uh, add addition added in because they realize it's good. So give these a try. Let me know if you like them.